Hello, this is Mr. Cox with another STEM activity. Today I'm going to make a paper boomerang. For this to work best, well, you need to use a pair of scissors. I like to just crease the paper a few times and rip it. I can get a straighter edge than if I try to use a pair of scissors. This one has been creased at an angle already, but I'm still going to use it. flatten the crease out of it. So once you get it creased several times back and forth, then you want to gently tear it in half. Again, instead you can take a straight edge and a pair of scissors to do this if you want to. You can actually make two boomerangs if you wanted to. Now I have this piece of paper. Now I'm going to take and fold it like this your best if you don't fold it clear to the middle and you leave a little bit of gap but even if you do fold it clear to the middle it'll work out okay so made two creases one here and one there now I'm going to fold the corners all over. Like this. Going over like that. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Folding those corners over. For it to work best, it's better if you fold them the other way too. It's going to make it easier to get the boomerang to, to fold out right. Fold one way and then the other way. Now I'm going to fold the whole paper in half. Right in the middle. Guess what I'm going to do? Here where I have these 90 degree angles or corners, I'm going to fold it again like this. Do the same thing. With this one. Again works best if you go both directions with it. Makes it a lot more pliable. Now I'm going to open it. This is the this is the hardest part of it. It's really not that bad if you just pay attention and get it right. I'm gonna grab a hold of this and this. One of these I'm gonna pinch out. The other one I'm going to bend in. The better you have this crease, the easier it's going to work. So one's going out, the other one's going in. We crease these. Of course, I do this, I've done this many, many times. Um, <laughs> but right now, since I'm doing this on the video, it's giving it a little, little hardship. You want this one to go in, that one to go out. If you're in trouble with it, I would just go back and recrease the whole thing. You can even take a pencil and lay down on this or a pen. Make sure your creases are real good in both directions. 
I'm just doing it with my finger right now, but we do this again. Okay, this one's going to come out like this. The other one is going in. So you're getting, there comes the boomerang. Now you can fold these corners over. Like so. Now again, it doesn't say in any directions I found on this that you need tape. Just to hold it down and together. I usually take a light piece of tape here, one here, on both of these creases again you don't want to get a, a whole lot of it where it's really heavy and when you throw it you're going to throw it like this and you've got to throw it up and pretty hard and you can get it will go flying and you can get pretty skilled at it and it will come back to you that's the boomerang you can make these uh, different sizes of paper you can decorate them if you want to boomerang